Hello and welcome back to the Goalie Be A Pro where we are with Columbus. Currently doing quite solid. We have a 920 save percentage, 256 GAA, and a personal record of 18-10-0. And we are the only team in the NHL right now without an overtime loss. That doesn't really mean anything, but it's a stat. It's a great day today. It's a Friday morning. Thursday night football worked out wonderfully for me in fantasy, which I need because I'm on the brink of playoffs, so let's go. So as part of this video, we should be passing the trade deadline, and hopefully Columbus makes trades. Anaheim never did. So it'd be nice to see this team actually do something. Anything. I never really realized how bad our brand is. We're almost at... Minus a thousand. Oh yes, I totally forgot the team that we are going up against is Anaheim. Our former squad. Let's destroy them! Sim game? Yes, please. Can we just do decently? You know, if we're down by one going into the third, I think, wow. What a joke. First shot of the game, Troy Terry buries one on Scott, but Boakfist gets one on our first shot of the game. Oh, this simulation engine never fails to amaze me. The shots are 13 to 10 after one, and they score on their first shot of the second, because of course they do. Why wouldn't they, you know? Yes, Colton buries one, tying it up yet again. We are out shooting them now, and it looks like we have a tied situation going into the third. That is perfecto. Let us do this thing. Columbus! We have to win! If I'm not mistaken, I think we did play Anaheim in a sim game last time and we lost. So, a W is basically mandatory here. I see that they still have done nothing. Have all the same players. So, at least it wasn't, you know, just because I was on the team that they were staying put. Nice, we're headed to the peeper. A little tripping penalty there for Troy. Scored on the first shot of the game. Not such a hero now, are you, Captain Troy? Let's set it up here. Texier along the boards gets crunched. But thankfully, Yams was there to keep it in. Okay. Risky pass. Very risky pass. Did not pay off. Well, that was a completely useless power play. We accomplished nothing. I don't even think we got a shot. Gibson's all over it. He's probably happy just to be the starter again. I kind of came in and just took that spot from him. And he was still ready to be a starter. Yo, no way that almost goes in. I almost just gave a gift to Trevor as well. An early Christmas gift. But thankfully, the pass was seamless to our defenseman. And now Mihura battling behind the net with Texier. Let's go. Yeah, I like the movement. You gotta let it sing. Eventually, somebody's gotta let that puck rip. Quick little glove save, and that was a clean pass to Patches coming around the net there. Oh, you know what? I never got to do this. But let's go, Gibson. Yeah, 100%. Scrapping our former netminder. It's kind of funny, actually. But yeah, he took us under his wing, and now... It is time for the student to become the teacher. Get over here, John. Oh, no. It's not looking too good, actually. Yep. And... Ooh, okay. Boom! Boom, and good night. Should I... I'll let him off nicely. Go for a punch, and I'll just tackle you. Come on. Come on. No? No? There we go. What? Okay, I gotta finish it. He had, like, zero. A sliver of health. And I dodged three punches and tried to do the takedown, but he was not going down easy. Maximus Pacioretty move. Oh, they did get Tarasenko, apparently. Didn't see that. Also, another bone-crunching hit. Mason McTavish. Oh, no! My positioning was awful. And I just got over in time. Got the glove in the right spot. I don't know what happened there. Not gonna ask questions either. Please smother it, thank you. I need a moment to just take that all in. Yeah? Nice try, though. That's huge. That's probably our best chance of the game so far. Weird little battle going on there. Maybe some words exchanged. Again, the puck movement is on point. 
How do you not score that, Johnson? How? Absolutely brutal. Hey, that's my boy, Sasha. Still like you. And he just somehow did a dump into himself, which is impressive. Okay. Gotta hit the net patches. So close! We're getting so many good chances now. All of a sudden, it seems like. And we just can't score. Just again. An insane hit by Mihira. I don't know why I'm struggling so much to pronounce his name, but I'm just gonna run with it. It's gonna be a new bit. Mihira! Oh no! Oh yeah! Here's Mahura! Mahira! Mmm. Uh, Mayura. Oh no, we have a player just lying at center ice. Yeah, they have been dummying the entire squad. So. Clearly, they are just a physical team because when we played on Anaheim, they laid some heavy hits and they have not given that part of their game up, evidently. 50 seconds to go. Could you imagine if Anaheim is the team to give us the one in that column? I would be furious. Yes! I thought he was going to go for the pass, but somehow he stuffed it. Let's go, Johnny Hockey. Oh, the point and everything. Look at this guy. Fire me up. Show me the replay, though, because I'm not too sure what happened here. Still not getting it. So he just received it, had a wide open guy, said, Nah, I got this, and yeah, thanks for that. That helped a lot. Three seconds left. Columbus comes out on top. What a save by Gibson. Reaction time for the tip in front, but none of that matters because a big W comes at the hands of Scott Sterling and the Columbus Blue Jackets over his former squad. Woo! Hey James, how about we don't take a look, huh? You ever thought about that? Next up is the Seattle Kraken. 22, 19, and 2. Oh, let's see how she goes here. And they score on their second shot of the game. A power play goal, but we score on our third shot of the game. I just don't get it. They score another one on their seventh shot. Amazing. We are off to a roaring start here. What a goaltender's duel this is. Goal for Marchenko. And now Columbus has the one goal lead. If we can keep them off the board in this period, then they'll be at 20 shots. We'll be looking all right. But we do have to keep them off the board. Let's go Appleton. Yeah, we got this. Light work. Easy. Never doubted us for a second. Boom. Wait. Oh, that was only the second. This game's not that close. I'm just going to sim the whole thing. Actually, you know what? Check this out. Boom. I'm just disappointed. Will this be our first overtime loss? No! Come on, man! We started out so strong with a win over the Ducks in regulation. And then we do that? Unbelievable. The third placed Boston Bruins. 25 wins at the moment. Hopefully, we can take him down. Here we go, Columbus. Frankie Vitrano scores. Fourth shot of the game. Did kill off that penalty, though, so that's huge. We still only have four shots, and the first period's almost done. All right. Five? Respectable. Is Scott Sterling saving Columbus's bacon here? Like, are they just not a good team, and somehow Scott is the reason for the success. I don't know. I'm just thinking because we have decent stats, save percentage, all that. Ah, uh, you know what? No, I'd say the boys are scoring a fair amount. That's, yeah, it's not fair to put on them. Let's take down the Bruins and move up in the standings because looking at the records that we had compared to them and they were third, we're 10th. It's gotta be a really close margin for those spots. So I think if we win here, we do move up probably quite a bit. Let's go Kent. Loses the draw to Zaka, but fights to get it back. Unfortunately, he didn't, but I still respect the effort. Tyler Toffoli goes for a pass in the middle, but our defense are all over it. They got this. Let's go, clean breakout. I like it. Nice hit by McAvoy. Stepped up at a crucial time. Is he gonna pass? He's gonna pass. And, whoa! I guess it is pasta, but... I feel like my positioning was perfect there. So I'm not really sure how that got past me. Unless maybe I did get a piece of it, and it still went behind, and that's the reason I hit the post. I don't know. Couldn't tell ya. 
Risky going for the clap bomb on the PK. But it kind of worked. Glove save. Although barely. That looked like another one that could have found its way in. Thankfully though, we got enough of a piece to direct it aside. And it looks like their power play is coming to an end. We got just as many chances as they did. If I'm going to be honest. Yep, that's bad positioning on my part. Oh well. 2-0 Bruins. We can still win this. It's still possible. Okay, Leo. What a shot. That was outrageous. Probably three seconds after their goal as well. We are right back in this thing. It's a one goal game. Hands it over. Hadouken. Oh, this is going to be a cool replay. It's going to be a cool one. Wierenski, tape to tape. Yes, sir. And, okay, well, it would have been cooler if you kind of, like, stayed behind the net. But that's just my opinion. Are you serious? I love this team. Absolutely loving it in Columbus so far. What a treat. Marchenko sets the cannon off. And just like that, we are tied. You know what? The lads saw me taking responsibility for the bad positioning. And they were like, let's go get it back for this guy. And they did. They even took a timeout. Are you nervous? Can't lie to you. I think they're nervous. Let's go. I am so confident in this team to score another goal right now. It's insane. Is that actually a Columbus chant? They just say CBJ? Because I'm here for it. Yeah, don't take that fight. Don't do it. Absolutely not. Is it? There's no way that they're the only one that got a penalty. Okay, yeah. Well, should be four on four. Maybe even five on five. How does that work? Because I know when goalies fight, it becomes four on four for whatever reason. Looks like it does for this as well. Yes, let's go! Absolutely robbed Pasta. And I was just about to say too, like I can't get scored on this easily. The boys did me a solid, got two goals, fought back for me, so I gotta fight for them. So close. Go! Johnson shot into a crowd of three. I don't know why every Bruin on planet Earth was in front of Allmark there, but... Good pressure. Steered aside. And let's get this puck back down there. Hopefully, we can bury one in the next couple minutes here and not save it till the last second. Also, not save it for overtime, which is a bold assumption because that is assuming that I don't get scored on. Could happen. Sam Steele. Thank you, defense. Clutched up big time there. What is that bounce? What is that bounce? No, there's nothing I could have done on that one. That's just outrageous. Well, sorry lads, but we need another one now. That is terrible. Big save. Throw it out. Can we get one more? You guys have already gotten two here. Which has been nice. Go, go! Is Yamamoto okay? Someone should probably check on him. I see that he's skating right now, but I don't trust it. I think it's a facade. Because he was a spaceship over top of Allmark. And then he was doing all kinds of twitching. Something's not right. Nice try, Wierenski! Keep the pressure up here. Am I being pulled? No, not yet. Alright. But I will await the call. I am ready to go to the bench when you need me to. If you need me to. Maybe they're just going to leave me here. Big hit on Charlie. And Pasta's in. Takes a shot. Glove saved. We got one more chance here. You got to take me out of the game, no? I guess not. They're leaving me in the cage. Bold strategy. Let's see if it pays off. Update. It did not pay off. We lost. Oh man, that one goal! 
If I just had that one bad positioning save. Could have been different. Conversation with Johnny. Uh-oh. Is he gonna tell me that I'm bad too? Or are we going to a museum or something? Oh. Lots of things happening after we started to chase the cup. How are you holding up? I don't understand this one. I'm good. Can't wait to lift the Stanley Cup with all of you on that day. And the teammate's like... Dog. What? How is that minus teammate-like ability? Can you riddle me that? Johnny? Hello? You know what? That's a good friend, though. Not letting it slide, being like, no, you know what? You're not good. Just take it easy. Don't overextend yourself. You know what? I like this. This team rocks. Is there any teams I want to go up against before the deadline? Do we play the Ducks again anywhere? No, we don't. So it doesn't really matter that much. The Islanders have one point on us. And look how close the Metro is. That is chaos. We lost to the Rangers. We lost to the Avalanche. Oh no. Are we going to miss the playoffs? Are you seeing what I'm seeing right now? This is outrageous. Finally, we win a game and then we go right back to a loss. It was an overtime loss, so I'll give credit there. We're not going to make it, are we? How did this happen? How did we just go on like a 27 game losing streak? James, I don't think so. Well, I guess we'll play this game against the Islanders, but we're not making playoffs. This is brutal. Based on the standings, there's still a little bit of a shot, but it's going to have to be quite the comeback. There we go. Stellars is scored on by Wierenski and Goudreau. And this is a divisional team, so we have to be winning these games. And we're doing a mighty fine job of that right now. Lowry scores to make it 3-1, but we are still sitting good. 4-1. You know what? I'm confident. Let's go. Sim the whole game. A 5-1-W. Up against the Coyotes here, they're 22nd. We have to win a lot here. So every game is important. And the teams that are below us, we need to beat them because we can't be losing those games. We got to get the points where possible. And the teams above us, obviously we got to beat them because we need them to come down. So yeah, we've really put ourselves in a situation where every game we go into right now is almost a must win. That's not a good way to start. Four goals on three... Four goals on three... No. Well, first of all, no. It was three goals on four shots. And what is happening? They... Well, I mean, yeah, it makes sense that I got pulled. We only have one more game before the deadline. And I still gotta play one more. Maybe we can play one after the deadline. Sim to next game. Okay, we have a record of 31-27-4. and four. I don't know. I don't know. No goals in the first, but Cody Glass scores in the second to make it 1-0. Wierenski gets it right back. Tie game. Ty Delandria scores, making it... Oh my word. Will you let me catch up, please? Never mind. If we're going to get the lead, then you do you. What an unbelievable sequence of events. Really? Really? Well, let's jump in and hopefully we can get a dub here. That almost went in. Positioning wasn't ideal for that one. Once again, the prediction system. Forgot it was a thing. Let's try to use it here. Bunce gets the puck in deep. Win that battle. Nice! There's no way you lose it after that. Okay, good job. I knew it! I mean, I guess that wasn't exactly what I predicted. But it was close enough. Atta boy. David is on one right now. Oh dear, we've taken a penalty. That's not good news. Oh wait, never mind. It's four on four. We take that. Hannafin with a low shot. Bunting is everywhere right now. This is crazy. Glove save from the point. And Sagan has it. It feels like they're on a power play. Go. He is drained. Has nothing left in the tank. And he still almost scored. Challenge the shooter a little bit. Don't be backed up so far in the net. And see, that's what happens when I do that though. Thankfully, they didn't score. We just need one to tie it up. Challenge the shooter a little bit. Not necessary. Defense all over it. Got it covered, if you will. Liam gains the line. Makes a nice pass. Oh, you got a clear lane. And you let go of that shot? Questionable is what I will leave it at. That was close, kind of. Steered aside again. Gotta get the puck out here, guys. We have to. We are getting dominated. 
Beat him to it. Nice. No. Yes. I thought Wierenski was going to get crunched against the boards and it was going to stay in. Thankfully, that did not happen. So close. Johnny! You had the whole side of the net. What are you doing? Let's let Leo Carlson just unleash... Unleash? Yeah, he actually just recently leased the car, so I think he should just unleash it. But we should also let him unleash a howitzer. Because he's clearly got one. Ranta passes it out. I thought he was going to cover it, so you know what? Respect. Thank you for keeping the play going. And thank you, Bokefist, for being there. Nice try. No! What are you doing? He just skated right past the puck. He was so determined to change lines that he had tunnel vision for the bench. This is our chance. Rupe Hintz took a two-minute tripping penalty. And with 3.22 to go, we need a single goal to tie this up. How are they getting shots on our power play? That's what I want to know. Riddle me all of that. Lockhart. Oh, he was the guy that got hurt in that one game. But he's back now, and I think we just took a penalty. Yeah, you know what? Maybe it's a good thing that we aren't going to make the playoffs this year. That was a close one. I might just sim the rest of the season, to be honest with you. Because... Well, I mean, the playoff hopes are still alive, but they're not very good. Let me check out the standings real quick, but... I think simming the rest of the year and just starting fresh is going to be the move because there's no point in jumping into games and making a whole nother video of us missing out on the playoffs. Okay, so we're kind of close, but we're still going to have to do a lot of work here. This is what our team looks like at the moment, defensively and obviously in net. So let's sim past the trade deadline, see if this team makes any moves. Sim to next game. This will bring us over it. And yeah, I'll probably start simulating a bunch and see if we're winning or not. Yep, looks like we did absolutely no We traded away. Let me get this straight. Where'd Wierenski go? He's not hurt. Did we trade for a draft pick? Are we folding? Imagine they traded for another goalie. <laughs> So we got worse. Yeah, whatever. Let's go see what happens here. We're doing all right right now. We're winning a lot of games. That win over Nashville was huge. Okay. Playoff hopes are back to being alive. Kind of. Sterling, we've been hot lately. Need to keep this momentum going? Yeah, we sure do. We're fifth in the Metro right now. So it is coming down to the wire. Win over Pittsburgh. Shootout loss to the Panthers. I mean, at least it's a point. Okay. Okay. No, I don't think we got it. Regular season has ended. Simulate to the offseason. Nope, we did not qualify. Brutal. The squad finished with 42 wins and 89 points. So we got fifth in the Metro in the entire league. The Tampa Bay Lightning take home the President's Trophy. Where'd we finish? So we finished 14th in the league and didn't make it. Love that. Absolutely great stuff. But the 19th place, Arizona Coyotes with 86 points squeak in. And so do the Ducks. Get out of here. Leo Carlson had 90 points and played every single game this year. What a legend. Goudreau, 78 points in 72 games. Marchenko did okay in terms of goaltending. Scotty Boy with a 916, 276. It's pretty good. Levi played 72 games, had 43 wins and a 904 save percentage. Vasilevsky and Sorokin up there as well. Brandon Montour had the most defensive points with a nice amount. That is surprising. I thought somebody for sure would have hit 70. And Kirill the Thrill, 61 goals. And he's going to get the Art Ross and the Rocket Richard. Probably the heart as well. Well, this is how the playoff tree shaped up. It is Tampa and New Jersey in the bottom corner there. Time to sim to next year, I guess. Man, I feel like we just can't catch a break here with Scott. This is getting ridiculous. I am not turning against this team yet, though. I'm still happy to be here. Missed the playoffs in the first season. That's fine. Hopefully, we can get back there next year. And the Arizona Coyotes are your Stanley Cup champions. It's sad that you couldn't foster more of that attitude within your team. How about you grow up? Get off of my back. I'm not sure if it's still a bug, but I believe that you 
can't request trades right now, which is unfortunate. We get the 15th pick. Could get a decent player there. Probably not one ready to go this season. New season, new me. Of course, I'm going to sim past the preseason because... The narrative and the expression being not like I was talking room, or anything, right? James. Your chemistry is important yeah, go team. ahead. No, go so ahead. How many times have we seen teams that are absolutely stacked with talent and they fall apart? Why? Mm. Because there was just a disconnect within the room. And I know with some reporters... Disconnect some the in the room. Is Scott a locker room issue? Saying, hey, you know what? Why? Well, how, do you, how do you endear yourself to Is that what I'm hearing? More? I don't know if there's ever really an answer. I mean, I swear we've heard this. You know what? You know, Never mind. We've heard this one before. James, zip it. Conversation with Johnny. So at least he's still here. What's going on? I'm going to leave the roster reveal until next video, obviously, because I need to have something for you to look forward to. This next game is a big one for us. It's our first game of the season. I mean, yeah, but not really. Also, my equipment got reset again. Love that. Nine hours of training available. Let's go. Five hole training, glove training, movement training, and core training. Deal. Got four trait points. Should I put these in to attributes or should I put it into dialogue so I can avoid promises? These are the questions we need to ask. Let's go with this charm one and not the success, but unlock the answers. And do I have the same option over here? That's the success. The answers. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. We are now 91 overall as well. Let's make these more likely to succeed. Yeah, we're very diplomatic. Okay, let's look at the awards though. For last season, the Arizona Coyotes with the cup. We knew that. Already knew that. And yeah, the final was the Bruins and the Yotes. Kirill the Thrill does get the art and the heart Montour with the Norris. Also taking home the Lady Bang is Kirill. Dorset gets the Calder, who I feel like he got traded during the year, which is kind of nuts. Con Smythe goes to Malkin. Sorokin takes home the Vesna, but Freddy gets the Jennings. Ilya Labushkin gets himself a Masterton. Matthews on the Seattle Kraken as a Selkie season. And then Kirill the Thrill getting the last two here as well. I also wonder if I go to edit player, if it's going to keep my equipment the way it was before, and then I just kind of have to go back and it should save it again. So yeah, that's my old equipment. Kind of. No, yeah, that's it. All right. And let's save. It should update it again. Hopefully. It did last time. Don't let me down this go. Taking a while here. It's got to be doing something. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. All right, next video. Let's have a look at the lines. Let's start a new season and hopefully Columbus will do well. Otherwise, we could go to some drastic measures again here because I am sick and tired of playing on teams that can't get the job done. Maybe it's Scott. Maybe Scott's the problem, but we could go to a team that can get the job done no matter who's in the net. So there's that. Thank you for watching. Appreciate you. Hopefully you're still enjoying the series. And I will see you soon.